SMT Nation, we back. We got a video for you here today. We're out in the snow and we're testing a, a new upgrade to a Verizon site. This is a site that I visited last year. You guys can see it there. It's it's pretty far back. We're like a mile and some change away. Uh, but it's a very tall site. This is one of the sites uh, that serves the area around the airport. And I kind of speculated that maybe it wouldn't see the upgrades for a while because of um, because of the FAA and the whole C-band you know, clearance situation. Uh, but it has been upgraded and they got it on uh, this sector uh, that's facing me right now. So we're kind of like direct line of sight. We're just far away. All right, so uh, I'm testing. I'm going to picture, uh, you'll see a little box here on the screen of what the tower looks like. I'll put a couple images. Uh, one is an up close. One is uh, kind of the site, a little bit of an industrial trucking type area. Uh, but it's got CBRS. And you'll see the radio at the top with the antenna underneath it. Those two uh, radio gear elements are separate. And then the N77 to the left is an air, air antenna radio combo. All right. 43 ping, 70, uh, 17 jitter, 455 megabit down, and 79 megabit up. All right. Let's run it one more time. This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Uh, it's a 2005 new, uh, Verizon Unlimited plan, the old legacy plan with the ultra wideband add-on and uh wow that's random look at <laughs> what what happened to the speeds 39 ping two jitter and 296 down this time i have no idea what happened bit of a hiccup uh, but the throughput is pretty impressive considering the range uh we're like i said we're just over a mile maybe 1.1 miles or something like that 296 down 93 up that uplink is probably the most impressive part uh, considering the range and uh, I'm very happy with that the downlink is good I'm interested to know if we're on a 1 gig circuit for this site or if we're on a 10 gig circuit a lot of the the sites around here for Verizon run on the one fiber where Verizon owns and operates their own fiber network so their transport they do themselves and in that instance, it's probably a 10 gig circuit, uh, which I'm very excited about because that gives the potential for some huge throughput capacity once they get the full clearance of C-band. This is only a 60 megahertz channel for now. All right, 459 down, 95 up, 21 ping, 7 jitter. Uh, what I want to do is I'll leave this for now. Let's go ahead and run the pixel and see what we got there for some action. Uh, we'll run a, a couple of tests. This is the Pixel 7 Pro on a 2017 new Verizon Unlimited with the ultra wideband add-on. I love my legacy plans. Nothing personal against those new plans, but I don't like change when it comes to my account. I don't like changing stuff, fixing stuff, adjusting stuff. Uh, you know, that's where I'm at. All right, so 35 ping, three jitter, 536 megabit downlink, and 43 megabits uplink. All right, so not bad. The downlink was much faster than the uh, than the iPhone, but the uplink not as good. So that's an interesting contrast there. Wonder if there's a rhyme or a reason to that. Usually it's the other way around. Usually, I see the Pixel do better with the uplink, and then like probably sixty percent of the time, and then the iPhone like sixty percent of the time is better for downlink. So I'm quite surprised with this. All right, so twenty four ping, three jitter, five twenty two down, thirty eight up. Uh, let me go ahead and airplane mode this, um, just to see if maybe there could be a thing there. I don't know. We shall see. All right, so I flashed airplane mode, and I'm actually going to do the same thing for the iPhone, too. Oops, got to get the network back. There we go. Yeah, we'll do the same thing for the iPhone and see if we get anything different. You never know. Sometimes you're in a queue for deep Rio or something weird is going on. So we'll reset those connections. Okay, I just did the iPhone, so that, that'll be ready to go once we finish the pixel test. Uh, time, it's about 10.30 in the morning. And just doing some errands here, and I thought I'd pull off and do this video. All right, 25 ping, 2 jitter, 372 down, 57 up. And really, like I said, guys, I'm just testing this because I said I would come back to this site. I predicted that they would get the upgrade done this year. I just wasn't sure about it going live and I'd say they probably upgraded the site within the last week.
because I drive by the site weekly and I didn't see any action so it looks like the upgrade was done pretty quick. Uh, there probably wasn't much in terms of restrictions that kept them from completing the upgrade pretty fast. So that's good. That's a that's something that I think gives AT&T the advantage at these sites is they're often more modern already so they don't have to do as much. All right, 386 down, 56 up, 24 ping, 3 jitter, 4 Verizon on the Pixel. All right, let's get the uh, the iPhone. I already reset the uh, connection. We went with airplane mode. All right, so let's run a couple of tests here and see if it made any difference. And I think what we'll do is we'll start testing the LTE as well. Uh, so let me go ahead and prep the Pixel for that. Come on, focus. Okay. Now a cheat code for the Pixel is just put the sucker into battery saver mode and it runs in LTE. But uh, the iPhone I'll have to do manually. I'll have to go into the settings and do that switch. 25 ping, 7 jitter, 468 down, 91 up. iPhone doing tremendous things with the uplink in this testing. I, I wish I could see what the connections are, but uh, <laughs> it's better for sure, a lot better. Okay, 24 ping, 6 jitter. I think this test is going to be just about the same. Yep, 474 down the uplink. Yeah, it's cooking. Really nice performance from the iPhone today, folks. Looks like 92 uplink. Really good stuff. I really like the way that these upgrades on the firmware and the uh, the modem for the iPhone has gone for the last couple updates. It's, it's starting to perform really nicely. All right, let's hit the Pixel for some LTE now. Like I said, it's uh, easy to do the the Pixel LTE. You just put it into low battery mode and got yourself the, the cheat code instant. Come on. It's having a problem with the glare. All right, now we are on CBRS, band 48. And we'll take a look at the, um, the bandwidth and stuff and see what we're connected to. I'm just putting the iPhone into LTE. I got that done, so that'll be queued up and ready to go. All right, 36 ping, 14 jitter, 405 down, 59.6 up. I'm going to run another test for you guys here, and we'll come back to this. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Signal Check Pro. Yep, there's your five carrier aggregation on the LTE. You got 20 AWS, and you got 80 megahertz of band 48 all right so for a total of 100 megahertz of spectrum lots of bandwidth oh i disrupted the test okay all right my bad pixel and ookla and <laughs> signal check pro you didn't like multitasking my bad all right 36 ping 10 jitter and we're looking at about 420 megabits down 430 megabits down the impressive part about CBRS, folks, is look how far we are on a low-powered connection. Samsung Radio Gear doing really nice things. I, I really am impressed by this throughput from this distance. Right? CBRS, low power. It's it, no good. Like, it is. I mean, it works indoors at my house from this range. All right, 428 down and 59 up. Good stuff from Band 48 working LT Magic. Now, the... Uh, how that's going to perform indoors is going to be a steep drop-off. You'd be better off with the N77 on the 5G ultra-wideband because uh, N77 is a higher power signal, transmit power. So that would probably work inside much better. Even though the band 48 is a slightly lower frequency, you're losing a lot in the signal degradation there because of the power limitation. All right, so now band 48 testing from the iPhone, 38 ping. 6 jitter, 286 down, and just 9 up. I have no idea what in the world is going on there. Let's run a second test make sure it's true. I always recommend running at least 2 or 3 tests to make sure that you're getting a reliable uh, performance metric. Alright, looks like this one is real. Okay, we're getting a little bit over 300 now, that's good. So 304 down. Oof, that's unusual. 304 down and like 9 up. Okay, so interesting. The N77 
we see the pros and the cons of the Pixel and the iPhone. Both were really good, right? Better uplink on the iPhone, better downlink on the Pixel on some of the tests. And now the kind of the roles have changed. <laughs> the uh, LTE performance uh, on Band 48 better on the Pixel for whatever reason. I don't draw too many conclusions from it. It all depends on the site. It all depends on the moment. Like I said, 60-40 split, sometimes the Pixel, sometimes the iPhone. And uh, that's, that's just kind of what I see. But one mile range, folks. Pretty good stuff here from the Pixel uh, and the iPhone. In my opinion, Verizon's 5G network and LTE network support, second to none in the Cleveland market. It's been really, really good. Uh, more testing coming up, but uh, if you guys enjoyed this one, let me know by liking and sharing this video, and then subscribe for more if you're new here, and turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload. Comment on any of the tests. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future, different types of tests or different networking uh, situations. I can go ahead and try to accommodate that. Uh, if you want to get more direct content of what you want to see, become a YouTube member and support us and just request it. And then you could do the same thing on Patreon. Uh, inbox me, let me know what you want to see. And uh, we could definitely do that content for you. Uh, that's it. Uh, all the things going on with the channel to support us are there in the description box. And then um, I'll leave you with some words of positivity as we head out today. Every new day is an opportunity to be great. Go out there and be great. Be out this piece. Peace.